Alright, hey guys, I'm back. Zombie for 22 here. Second episode of our Spore speedrun. I am gonna keep that Roboscus there. Never mind. Ignore that earlier decision. But we are entering creature stage. I'm not gonna do too much here because as soon as I enter creature stage, I am going to mate again so I can get some of the better, you know, uh, pieces to our creature, but I do need some of the stuff I need. I don't need the electric. I do need poison for spit, because spit is very useful. I don't need the flagellum, because sneak isn't that important. I do want this so I can charge it, guys. Need eyes. It's gonna be an omnivore, just because it's easier to find food that way. Grab some thunder calves. Yeah, thunder calves. And we're gonna be, we're gonna have backwards legs, cause uh, backwards legs are fun. Let's get a little lower to the ground here. Yeah. What do you think? I think that looks alright. Is got a little knock knee going on there. All right. Yep. Yeah, all right. Good. We have evolved from Dave into David. Off we go. Get up there. Oh, and we emerge into the world. I'm sorry, I'm skipping this cutscene, like I said. Instant go and maiden call. Who is my lover? Dance with me, baby. Alright, straight out the gate. We're getting the better mouth just because better mouth means better bite, which means we kill things faster. Lee Torch is my favorite one because it looks the best. Not in here, but when we actually do stuff. I do have the creepy and cute expansion pack for those of you who care and or know what that is. It just gives me extra parts. Uh, these are probably my favorite eyes because they look cool. I uh, don't need these horns anymore. The majority of time spent in this series is gonna end up being just me making my creature look good for those of you who care about those kind of things. We are going to have arms just because arms let us do strike without having to uh, rely on, you know, little weapon attachments. Tails are cool, so I'm going to have a tail. Uh, let's fix that arm looking thing. Alright, yeah, that looks decent. Give them give a little beefier, beefier upper arms there. Alright, yeah, that looks cool. He needs bigger legs though, if he's going to have big arms like that. Alright, and that looks a little weird, so let's fix that. Alright, we're looking good here. We do not have money for graspers at the moment, and I probably want to fly. So what do we have? We have spit and bite at the moment, so I do have a hocket hocket launcher. At the moment. I do want my charge back, but I don't want to go back through all that, so this is fine. We'll go get some DNA real quick, kill some dudes, get this stuff going. Yes, we were born. Yes, you want to teach me stuff. I do not care. I'm sorry. I, You're right. I don't love you. Let's undig this. Alright, where's our first target? We're going to go over here to this unknown species. Let's get in there. Find a new part to evolve, oh my god. Alright, we want to target the alpha first, because the alpha will give us a part when we kill him. So I don't want to be friendly, I want to kill this guy. So we're just going to spit at him till he gets to us. Keep spitting. And then fight. And spit does damage over time. Just so you know. See, we got a part. It's not a very good part, but it is a part nonetheless. Just keep spitting. 
Bite is up the most often, so you definitely want to have your bite upgraded, but strike does the most damage. Spit and charge? I do not- I don't have charge right now. I don't have strike either, but strike will come soon. Bite and strike are probably the two most important abilities to level up. Yeah, I know, I'm, it's the most important, but I don't have it, huh? Yeah, I know. But. So we got one. Going up a little bit here. See our progress bar. Oh well, yeah, bite and strike are the most important bite because it goes off the most often. You can use it most frequently, lowest cooldown. And strike because it does by far the most damage. Strike does crazy damage later into this game. And I know I didn't pick up the little bone back there, but the little bone usually only has either parts that I don't want, like the eyes, so I don't want to waste time with that, or it's got, uh, well yeah, little parts like the eyes, alright. I am very hurt right now, so I'm gonna eat this guy. I should have just eaten the guy that was at my feet, but that's okay. I'm not gonna say I'm perfect at this game, I will make some mistakes. I'm full health again though, so let's take on this guy. Spit him down as he comes to us. And we're a little too close to spit, so if your spit doesn't want to go off, if you are playing this game for yourself, if spit doesn't want to go off, it means you're a little bit too close, so you gotta back up a little bit, and then you should be able to use it. If you can't, oh, I'm sorry, you got problems there. But see, the, um, so these, this is a little bone here. See that little bone? All right, those are pretty garbage. You usually don't want what's in those. But these, the little spines, these are bigger. These give you rank two parts. See, like I just leveled up my mouth there, so we get a better bite. And I want to go get that, like really badly. Unfortunately, I don't have sprint or sneak at the moment, but that's okay. We got in there. I didn't need that, but that's kind of kind of handy to just have. Uh, I'm going to die here. Definitely dead. Definitely dead. Yep. Okay. That's fine. See, we get a free, free back to the base here. All right. Who's got the hearts? Uh, does anyone have the hearts? Uh, over here. You've got the hearts. All right. Let's go for upgrade session. So we're gonna drop the rank one mouth up to the rank two mouth. And we are ugly. Alright. Like I said, we really want strike. So I don't have the strike normal arms, but I do have the creepy strike arms, which is fine. It doesn't make a difference. They, they just look a little weird, don't you think? <laughs> and I want... What do these give me? These give me sneak. Mm. No, I don't need that. Alright, so then we got charge here. You gotta have horns for your charge, man. There we go. Alright, so we're looking pretty brutal. If I do say so myself. And... How much does this drop for? Alright, that drops for enough, so we'll go over here, up our spit. Alright, so we have upgraded up here, see, so we now we have rank 3 bite, rank 2 charge, rank 2 strike, and rank 2 spit. Before we only had rank 2 bite and rank 1 spit. So we are improving, we are progressing. I don't think we have a brain upgrade yet, but we will soon. <sighs> Sorry, I'm talking myself out, Wind getting a bit winded here. Alright, so this is our next target. So we're gonna open with spit, engage, and then go straight to strike, bite, and then just rotate, spit, and bite until they die. If charge isn't up, that's fine. Just spit them like before, spit them till they get close. Then you want to open with strike, and then bite. Because you want strike on cooldown as fast as possible, just so it's up again sooner. Alright, we got those guys done. We do have 
a brain upgrade. That's what that little cutscene to be was there. And they also, the good part with going carnivore is if we want pack members, we just go back to our own nest. All we have is level 1 sing, so that's all they can use. Make it a little quicker. Alright, there we go. We have a pack member. We now can output more damage because there's two of us, obviously. So this should work pretty well. Honestly, I don't use this very often, but it is useful. You, It's because we're an omnivore, we have summon flock, which means we were an omnivore in cell stage. I should say. Makes us have summon flock, which, if I use it, uh, I'll use it here. So, using summon flock, we get a bunch of these guys. I think it's a random guy. Comes to give us a hand. So it's basically like we get a bunch of extra pack members, which is a big hand. Kill the baby. <laughs> uh... I know, I'm awful. I, f I feel bad, but, you know, progress is progress. So now we have extra pack members here. We can find the next nest. These little question marks are unknown species on your map. So these guys don't look that tough. They're about the same as us. And because we have five guys, burgers and fries, <laughs> this should be a relatively easy fight. They are going to fight back though, because they were a uh, hostile species to start with. This is going pretty well though. Alright, and Baby's the only one left I see, so it's going. Alright. Ah, there was another alpha. Dang. I kind of wanted that alpha actually, but that's okay. Alright, so we will continue on. These guys look like a decent next target, so I'm gonna select him, buffer up spit by pressing 4, so I will spit as soon as I get into range. Spit, and then charge in, help out our friends, take him out. Uh, I want to focus down this other alpha. Oh, I died. Wow, I'm garbage. I'm sorry. Okay, we are migrating, which is kind of awkward, but that's fine. F uh, fair warning, when I think it's after your first upgrade, next time you uh, breed, your species will migrate, which means you have to go look for a new nest, but you can still uh, breed again and upgrade your guy if you need to, because there's one guy that sits at the old nest. and you can breed with that one. Uh, come on, get in there. There you go. Kill the alphas. Okay, we need one more guy. Hmm. See, now I'm kind of annoyed, because if you miss one guy, you miss out on all this bonus DNA here. See, if you hunt all of them, you get a bonus 25. We don't hunt all of them. We, do, you know, we don't get that bonus DNA. So I don't think we're going to be getting that, which is kind of annoying. Not really annoying, just a little bit. Alright, we got some graspers there that we don't really need. Yeah, I'm going to say it's not worth it to hang around waiting for one of those guys to show up again. I, we need two. I'm going to pull this alpha. Another strategy, you can spit to whittle them down and just keep backing up until they get too close and then you go in for the charge and fight like standard fighting combos. Okay, so my ally did die there, which is unfortunate. But I should be able to 1v1 this guy because strike is busted good. And this guy does not have strike. I have upped again. So I do want to migrate now because I want more guys. So I'm gonna eat those real quick. Get going to the new nest. This blue path on the ground shows us where the new nest is, but you can also just follow it on the mini map. I would advise following it on the mini map rather than the path, because you can usually find more, you know, direct route, get there a little bit faster. 
I'm sorry if this one is going to be a little bit longer. Actually, I'll probably cut this one halfway through. Fair warning. Not fair warning. It's, mo it's more for me than you guys, but I will cut this one halfway through, so the episode is a little shorter, and we won't be sat here just doing creature stage stuff forever. So, I think I'll cut it when I get to the new nest. Yeah, that's what I'll do. I don't want to run into these guys, though, because they're pretty beefy, and I'm alone. <sighs> he tried. Yeah, I can outrun this guy. Alright, so this is the new nest here. The new nest always has, I think, two level 3 bones and a level 2 bone. Or maybe it's just one level 3 bone. Yeah, it looks like just one at this time. Ah, oh, there's one over there. Anyway, the second nest always has a decent amount of bones around it, so you should go pick those up, get what you can out of them. And there's usually, I don't know if it's guaranteed, but I'm pretty sure there is always an epic, because I don't think I've had any games where I haven't had an epic right next to my second nest. And the good thing about that is, where epics, like, where they hang out, there's always max bones. So these are like the third bones, which is like really good, but these are max bones. These big fish head, like, ribcage things, these are max bones. So you want max bones, because they will give you the best. See, that's the best mouth that we can possibly get for this, uh, like, the chain that we're on right now. Which is really good, because that means we'll have max bite, and we have max spit, it looks like. What else did we get? We got another mouth. That, that's unfortunate, but that's how she goes sometimes. I'm gonna grab the level two bone first over here, because maybe we'll get better hands, and then if we get better hands out of that, we have a good chance to get better hands out of this one. If you don't have the level two, you can't get the level three. So we got two weapons. I think we got the uh, narwhal, narwhal corn and its follow-up. Oh no! Good, good, we got the better charge. So we have level 4 charge, level 5 spit. I don't think we upped our strike any, which is kind of bad. Well, not bad, but kind of unfortunate. So, either way, let's go upgrade all those things real quick. After this upgrade, I'm going to cut the video. We're going to be good. Alright. That's our plan. Come on, love me. You've got the hearts. Yeah, there we go. We're gonna do a little dance. Woohoo! Alright. Let's get our stuff. Alright, so I want to charge up. I think. Nah, I don't. I don't want to charge that bad. Did we get better hands? We did get better hands. Strike is priority, honestly. Even probably over bites, better strike is priority. So we can afford best bite and our up strike. I'm gonna make this look a little more uh, like. cooler. <laughs> a little more cooler. <laughs> uh, I know how to English, guys, I promise. Alright, how much would we get refunded for ripping that off? Not enough. Okay, so we have all that and we will have enough for a health upgrade. That's fine. Alright, so we upped our bite, we upped our... Upped our bite, upped our strike. We don't have feet still. Actually, I want feet over health. Because f if you upgrade your feet, you do move faster. So I'm gonna grab this, I think. Nope. Uh, yeah, it gives us jump. And jump isn't that important, but it's better than nothing. Alright, this is David. Let's give David a paint job. Um, do I want to do a partial? Yeah, I'll do a partial. Uh, let's give David this one. David's gonna be... You know, actually, we'll keep David purple. We'll just give him a new coat. Let's do the back. Do a black. I'm gonna be back in black. Yeah. I like that. I don't think we're gonna do it detail pattern on them. Mm, we can. We could do a detail pattern. I think we'll do legs only though, and we'll do 
to that one. Like just a slightly darker shade of purple. Is this purple? Yeah, like that. Yeah. Alright, this is David. David looks pretty cool now. Let's get born. I'm getting born here. Oh, and we up. And we good. Alright. Thank you for watching, guys. My name has been Zombiever22. Drop a like if you liked the video. This has been our Spore Speedrun, Episode 2. Episode 3, coming right at you. Thanks. See you later.